we are back on the Chef You and I, and now we're going to make a savory squash casserole with all the ingredients that we have today are we have onions, we have celery, we have mushroom soup, and we have sour cream. And I use light sour cream in mine. So what we're going to do, the first thing that we're going to do uh, is we're going to cut up our squash, and we're going to put them in the microwave, and we're going to get them done. And then we're going to mash it, and then we're going to add all of our other ingredients. So I've already prepared uh, by peeling the squash, and now I'm just going to cut it up, and we're going to put it into this dish and then we're going to put it in the microwave for a few minutes until it's done and it only takes about five to six seven minutes in the microwave and even though I'm not doing it on top of the stove it just since we have so little time on our show I just wanted to get it done quickly but you can do it up on top of the stove very easily and it cooks very quickly so as you know summer squash uh, is still around but it's not as uh, prevalent as the acorn and your butternut and your, and your winter squashes. Okay, you can get it though still. Okay, so we'll put this all in there. This is about maybe a pound to two pounds right here. And then we're going to, uh, once we get that done, which will take a few minutes, and then we're going to mash it. And we'll get it done. And we'll just put this in the microwave real quick for, like I said, about I'd say about five to six minutes uh, until it's tender, okay? And then what we're going to do in the meantime is we are going to add, um, we have some wonderful uh, Petridge Farm uh, herb stuffing. We have some herb stuffing that we're going to add uh, about uh, a third of a cup of uh, Marg not margarine, but butter that I've used in it, and we're going to add that to it, and we're going to mix it. Okay, so that'll just get in there, so it just gets a little bit moist. And then we're going to add all these different things. Don't you enjoy doing this? This is so much fun. I hope you are using your children and getting them um, excited about turkey's coming, Thanksgiving's coming, and it's really easy to do. So this is one of the things that you could have with your, your Thanksgiving turkey is this wonderful squash casserole. And I, I believe the Indians uh, at the first Thanksgiving probably did squash because it was very prevalent in those days. And they had wild turkey, and it just made it a lot much more fun to have all these wonderful root vegetables that you can eat. And, and the nice thing about them is, is that they are low in calories, and that's really, really important. And then what we're going to do in a second is we're going to add all of our different um, uh, uh, ingredients in with our squash, but we just need to take a little break, and we'll be right back. We're back, and now that the squash is... Um, ready to go we're mashing it and then what you want to do is add all the other ingredients that I'm going to give you in just a moment and just really really simple so we're done mashing okay I poured all the water off the squash and now I'm going to add a cup of cream of mushroom soup I'm going to do one stalk of celery pretty simple then an onion that I chopped up and you know you don't you that's really nice and then we're going to add the sour cream okay and that's a cup of sour cream and I use the light cup so we'll move that over there and then what you're going to do is you're going to add salt and pepper so we've got the squash and we've got all the other ingredients and I've mixed um, our our uh, bread cubes, our stuffing with butter, which is a third of a cup of butter. And then we're going to layer this into a, um, a dish that we're going to put in the oven in just a minute. But here we go. And let's do this. We're going to grease the casserole. So we're back and we're going to spray um, our casserole dish. So give it a light spray. Make it even, because you don't want anything to stick. And then what you're going to do, we're going to do a layer of the breadcrumbs, or not breadcrumbs, the bread cubes. 
okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take and put the mixture that we made up, which is the onions and the soup and the squash, and we're going to layer it right on top of those breadcrumbs. Make it really simple, and we can get a close-up of that, I hope. I think we can. It's really simple. Just layer it. Just like that. It smells really good. I can't wait to taste this. I know your family will like it as much as mine does. Especially if you're a vegetarian, this is great. So, and then we want to do another layer of breadcrumbs. Okay, they're all in there. Okay, and now we'll put the finishing touches on the top of it. And then we're going to bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. And our other wonderful dish is in the oven right now. And it smells delicious, believe me. And then after that, we're going to make a really nice dish uh, that is made with the butternut squash. And it's just cube butternut squash with bacons and, and wonderful olive oil. And we just are going to cube that, but I'm going to show you how to get the seeds out of that. So we're almost done with this. And now we're going to take a little break and we'll be right back. I'm going to put this in the oven and we'll be ready to go for our next dish. Okay?